And that's a wrap. Yay! Let's hit stop on this, and let's hit stop on this. And this is the part where Saucy Fox will edit in for the post-show YouTube video version. <laughs> oh, man. See, that air conditioner creates a lot of noise when you turn the noise gates off. Yes, oh, it yeah. does. Yeah, it really does. You just hear it go. You can also hear the expander. How When, when I talk, the noise actually gets louder. Yeah. Yep. You can hear all my mouse clicks, too. It's really bad without the expander. Ready? It's, just, it's even more noisy. How about the plastic bag? <laughs> well, that's not bad because I don't have that mic on. If I had that mic on, it would be really bad, though. How is it now? Still not as bad. Damn. I was trying. Still annoying, though. Oh, God. Um, where's the graphics server? Let's do post show. Because that's what it is. There we go. And soon we will cook to death. Yeah. In a few seconds. You guys are listening to the Friday Night Tech post show. <laughs> We're kind of just sitting here. Yep. It's awkward without the noise gate. Without that noise, you can hear everything. Wait, um, let me get rid of the expander again. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh my. So this is all the fan noise in the room. Yeah, these mics pick up everything. They're like really... Welcome to condenser mics, guys. They're actually pretty nice. Yeah, they, they, they do. They do pick up quite well. Whenever you, you know. They pick up everything. <laughs> okay. Mouth noises. Yeah. Possible. Uh, possible anybody who's Sunday. wearing headphones probably feels like they're getting raped right now. Or chewed on. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> it's pretty good. It kind of feels weird just having the noise gates off, you know. It feels a lot less formal with them off. Yeah, it definitely does. Oh, man. Um, and I'll just hit play on. I am so not licking the microphone, Saucy Fox. <laughs> it is not happening. I'll lick the microphone. Please don't. I don't you don't know where it's bad. That'll work. Yeah. Fun stuff. So this is the post show, and, and that's driving me crazy. Okay, I got, I got to put the, no <laughs> I got to put the noise gates back on. So now when we stop talking, it's silent. What a concept! Good. So much better. It is really. It's a lot more, a lot more peaceful. <laughs> you guys listening to? Uh, the Friday Night Tech Post Show. Uh, I guess we'll take a call or two because we haven't done that in a while and I feel bad. And plus, you know, it's not like any of us have stuff to do tomorrow. So unlike the one week where I actually had like all kinds of shit to do on Saturday. Is that last oh, I episode? Still need to, I still need to tell you about the uh, the streaming gig that I did. Ah, I don't uh, think I have anything going on tomorrow. I could be completely and totally wrong, but I don't think so. I'm kind no of programming to do. I'm kind of making it a thing to not have anything to do this weekend. Yeah, don't blame you. Five billion contact requests and messages and <laughs> yeah, pretty much all at once. Which is funny because you don't need to actually add the account as a contact in order to call, which is I think is funny. I wonder if I just saw you go online. But uh, yeah, phone line is open, guys, for anybody who wants to call in. Phone number or the. Skype account. Uh, I'm sure somebody will. Watch Wrath do it. If he's even still listening. It is pretty late. Yeah, but he's in the same time zone, isn't he? Yeah. Well, thank you, Windows. You had a notification down there, and then I go to see what it is, and it goes away. Awesome! So helpful! At least it's not code purple. No, no. So what do you think of these, um... Uh, here, I'm, I'm gonna play all the jingles that I have while we're waiting for somebody to call in. So this is the first one. 
You're listening to XBN, the world's first bit perfect radio station. Not exactly happy with how you pronounce that. I'm not. I'm not really sure what's going on with mm. that. But I see somebody calling, and I'll take the call in just a second. So this is the uh, this is the second one. Internet radio by a bunch of crazy animal people. This is XBN. I, I thought that one nice. came out all right. You know, this one I'm not sure if I like. Friday night tech, lossless, underground, undiscovered, free. Okay, no, never mind. I do like that one. That one's good. This one though, I got one for Furcast just to try it out. I just you know because I've gotten jingles from this guy before, so I got one for Furcast. I'm not happy with what he did on the Echo. You're listening to Furcast. Furcast. Just seems kind of generic, like, you know, we're going to do an echo. Maybe a bit too much echo. Yeah, a bit too much delay on that. And then uh, there's this one. This is the XANA Broadcasting Network. Mm, 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 yeah, mm, yeah. Yeah. Not too yeah. bad. Yeah. You're tuned in to Friday Night Tech. Now, there's a friend of mine that did that one. And then I also have uh, my Australian friend. You're listening to Friday Night Tech. He also made a really old one that we can't play anymore. Making no, that was fairies it. grow tails since 2007. This place is like uber creepy. You're listening to Friday Night Tech. Okay, now that, that one we I can still play. Oh, yeah. yeah, This one we can't play anymore. This is Friday Night Tech broadcasting live all over the internet every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Visit, Visit our, our website, website at fnt.zanacreations.com. And you see why we can't play yep. that anymore. Every Friday. It's also kind of a bad jingle. We may as well take the call now. Yeah, we probably should. Patiently. So, what's up? You are live on the phone line. Hello, Paradox. Long time no see. Yeah, absolutely. So, what's up with you? Nothing much, just moved into the new house. we trying to get this Wi Fi fixed. She's a brick. House. What? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was just thinking brick house because you said house, and I was like, I was thinking that, uh, house. that 80s track. Country. But anyway, so did you enjoy the show this evening? It was actually pretty good. I mean, heck, it sounded pretty good over my uh, Pioneer system that I just got, so. Cool. Did you use the uh, flag stream at all? Yes, it was beautiful. That's awesome. I'm, I'm really glad that that's working now. That makes me so happy. Um, yes. So it's actually not completely fully bit perfect. It is, except for one bit. And that one bit is randomized quantization noise at negative 96 dB, which is so small that even if you have not 0.01 dB and you add that noise in, it won't cause an overshoot. That's how small amount of noise it is to the point where you like it's so quiet, your sound card can't actually reproduce it. So it doesn't really matter anyway. But um, we're going to eventually take uh, Jogma, which is the, the custom software that we had to write to do this stream, and we're going to uh, pipe Elsa into it instead of Jack, because the, the noise is coming from Jack's um, conversion of um, integer number or floating point numbers into integer numbers. Um, it's just yeah, that adding... is a bit rough. It's, you, you lose finesse at that point. Yeah, exactly. And so that's why we're just going to pipe Elsa just straight into flo- it. Floats have decimals, integers no, don't. Well, there's ways you can do the conversion that don't create noise, and there's ways you can do the conversion that create noise at certain levels that are acceptable. Mm. So we might just have to round the least significant bit to get it to be completely a bit perfect. But, um, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's really been fun to play with that. Didn't um, you guys have to hack a script to get the floats to work? Because um, Jack doesn't really support the floats? No, Jack works fine with the Elsa device. It was getting Jogma to work with Jack that was also difficult. Um, but we also have to have a modified lib flack encoder because uh, a traditional flack encoder, if you pass it silence, it outputs nothing, mm-hmm. like zero bytes. <laughs> and so the IceCast server would just go, what the fuck? And it wouldn't fill up the frames because normally you fill up the OGG frames and then it sends that frame off, mm-hmm. but it wouldn't. And so any depacketizer on the decoder, like on VLC Media Player, would just shit itself. And VLC still does. It still doesn't like it, even if it's getting data, if it... if it doesn't match the frames within a certain amount of time. When we broadcast complete silence, VLC will actually stop counting. Like, the counter will stop going up oh, on good. it. Oh, good. Great. Yeah, it's it's funny. And if you leave it silent for long enough, VLC will think that the stream is dead. Oh, even better. Yeah, which is one of the reasons that FUBAR is nice, because FUBAR doesn't give a shit. It, it's, it's It'll like, always stream. It knows that the TCP session is open, so mm-hmm. it... It, it's like fuck you, Flack. I'm gonna stay tuned in. Yeah, it tries to pull from the stream, is, and as long as it's kept alive, it won't matter. Well, also, um, Fubar goes along its own time code, 
and essentially what it does is it plays the stream, like it plays the samples one by one like it should, but it uses its own time code to tell where it is and what the counter is at. And so that's why when you seek in FUBAR, sometimes it actually can take a second, especially if it's a big file, whereas VLC is instant, because VLC skips to that time code, whereas um, FUBAR doesn't do that. FUBAR has an independent time code, and it then has to determine, okay, whereabouts is that in the song, and then just start playing the sequence, you know, the actual samples one by one. So it's like... So it's like completely different between the programs but anyway person on the phone line i don't mean to like <laughs> talk over you um so shout yourself out where you're calling from before we move on to another caller i, I am calling from alabama awesome Deep south of redneckville <laughs> there you go well thanks for calling in dude anytime next caller you're live Hi, it's me, Leon. How are you doing? Is my mic working? Yep, I can hear you. Oh, good it is. I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Listening uh, listen to the Flack stream this, or today. Ran it on iOS on VLC. Perfect. Um, I was listening to it on my Mac a little bit ago on VLC, the Flack stream. It, pretty good. The only thing is, I don't know if it's just maybe my devices. I don't know if I noticed it on OS X, but at least on my iPhone, it sounded a tad bit crackly. Just a very, very, very tad bit, I think. That might be mm. VLC's fault. I don't know. That could, could oh, yes, it is. Could be VLC. VLC does that. Um, it's a, they, the way they do the clocking on, I, on like, core audio on iOS is really weird. I actually experienced this because I had an app uh, that would stream files, like, from my network share. Mm -hmm. And if it couldn't play the file, it let right. you open it in another app. It actually would create a URL on the phone, and it would proxy server it. And I was like, that's so cool. Oh. So you could play FLAC files using VLC. I about that. Nice. So, but when I would do that, it would start playing fine. But if you ever like tried to skip around or if anything happened or if it lost the stream for a second, it would just like, it would play the stream and all of a sudden there would be all this crackling. As it tried to get the stream back? Mm. No, it's actually an audio like sample clocking issue. It's weird. Mm. It, it's like some kind of a weird timing issue with it. All I know is it's a problem with VLC on iOS. Um, yeah, fucking VLC. I don't know. What else oh. did you say for uh, iOS? I think VLC is pretty much the only... VLC is the only one that will play FLAC from a URL. Unless TuneIn Radio will do it, but I highly doubt it. Probably not. I mean, you could check it, but... Um, yeah, for iOS, yeah, unfortunately... Be, yeah, we could try tomorrow, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna run the flag stream again tomorrow. Whatever, not whatever. not because Furcast is supposed to have a flag oh, stream, nice. but just solely to test it. Just for the fuck of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, it's not at all a bad idea. Also, they're getting better. I don't think I've talked to you about that on uh, Teamspeak when you've been there, because we've all been there at random times and mostly during my lunch. So yeah, the uh, AC incident. Oh yeah, your balls are doing better. So for those of you who don't Wait, know, uh, at Anthrocon, Leon essentially got punched Long in the balls. Story. Oh, yeah. And a and a very bad, bad, bad spot in a blood. Well, vein. well yeah, and and, and, and they it, like it, it got really it. large, and then you had to go to the hospital, and then you couldn't masturbate for a month, and yeah, it's awesome. Ouch. Oh god. And, and you're a fox. That must have sucked. And, yeah. Yeah, it did. I I I did it anyways. Hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah. You would. Oh, hey, come yeah, on, man. The pain is just from all the bondage. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit different from that. Eh, no, not quite that kind of pain. <laughs> There's a difference. Nimex said your balls were like a huge target that day. They were. Well, minus the fact that, you know, I don't think purple and black is a target color, but okay. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank you for calling in, uh, Leon. Yes, I'll see you guys on TeamSpeak later. Also, 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 Mana Cox. Huh? And He's also hugging. Foxy Code. Yeah. Hi. Foxy Code. Foxes. Oh, yeah. uh, Foxes. Hi. Bye. Good stuff. Wonder if anybody else will call in. I think that's probably going to be it for the night because I think everybody's, everybody's pretty tired, so. And I'm melting. So, uh, if this is your first time watching Friday Night Tech, either live or just in general, shout yourself out in the chat room. Just make yourself known. I'm curious.
Lane, first time. Asterix in the chat room wants a hug. Lane apparently wants to call. Uh, yeah, anybody can call. There's a phone number too if you don't have Skype. What's up, next caller? You are live on uh, Friday Night Tech. I almost said forecast. What's up? <laughs> hey, this is Coolgee. It's like the first time I've called in in about two years, I think. Holy shit. Well, uh, what's up? Uh, well, your Electro House mix tonight was so good, I actually got tired from dancing so hard. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, wait. That. Did you say you got what? fired? No, tired. Tired. Okay, all right. So Just wanted to make sure. I was like, I don't know if my electric mix is that great if you got fired from your job over it. Well, <laughs> I suppose that could make it really good, too. I don't know. But, uh, okay, well, yeah, that's, that's good to know that you uh, you got some dancing out. That's what I do. Hmm. Although, I'm kind of mad having to call on a phone line because apparently Skype doesn't support alpha uh, input or output anymore, and I don't want to configure Pulse Audio, so... Oh god, fuck Pulse Audio. Oh, thank you so much, Microsoft. I know, right? Uh, uh. It's like, why? There was no reason. What about, what about Jack? Is there a way you could pipe it in through Jack? Uh, no, it only accepts Pulse anymore. I'm pretty Skype sure. only accepts Pulse. That's something Microsoft would do. Ah, oh, god damn it. Well, anyway... Ubuntu and Mint use it, so... Why don't we just make that the only thing we support? Yeah, 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 yeah pretty much. Uh, well, uh, so shut yourself out. Where, where are you calling from? Southern Indiana. Southern Indiana. All right. You're going to go to... Uh, did Indie Furcon already happen? I don't know. I, I forget <laughs> if it happened. You should totally go I, to it. Mm, I'm not sure if I'll have the money. Oh. I am planning on going to MFF, though. Okay, MFF is totally worth it. I would highly recommend MFF. <laughs> After going to like 16 furry conventions, I have to say MFF is probably my favorite one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it's a good one to be my first convention. Yeah, oh, yeah. It is definitely a good first con. It's a lot of fun. It's a perfect balance of the small and the large. Hmm. But, uh, well, thank you for calling in. Is there anything else you want to mention real quick before we move on? Not really. Thanks for having me. <laughs> All right. Thanks for calling in. Next caller, you're live on the show. How can we help you out? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Shut yourself out. Where are you calling from? I'm actually from calling from Colorado. Oh, wow. Okay. And uh, so what brings you to call in this evening? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. I just figured I should call just because it's my first time ever actually watching the show. Oh, did you enjoy it? It's so cool. Like, I'm being surprised. Sorry, what? I, I, said, I said, did you enjoy it? It sounded like you did. Oh, absolutely. Totally amazing. You guys are great. <laughs> awesome. Good to hear. Well, uh, yeah, we're just kind of chilling out for the night and about to get out of here. It's really hot in this room. It's not as bad as last time, though. Yeah, or at least it doesn't feel as bad. I think it's just bad. Just got a bit used to it. Yeah, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, do you, I mean, how, or, so how are you doing? What are you up to in life down in, uh, in Colorado? Uh, not too much. Finishing up summer classes next week. It's going to be pretty great. And then after that, um, who knows? Uh, summer classes are the bane of my existence uh, because I'm I'm the IT person for a school, and summer classes drive me nuts because it fucks up all of my planning on like when we're going to redo like like things on the computer network, and it's just uh, I hate yeah. it. No class to be I'll up when the students out. are there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
But uh, well, thank you for calling into the show. And uh, is there anything else you want to mention real quick before we move on, or is that it? No, that's it, dude. Just uh, thanks for the show. It's seriously super awesome. All right. And uh, have a good night. Yeah, you too. So this is uh, version two of the mix. So check this out. So the beginning of this song. That's what it sounds like, right? Uh-huh. Here's the original. Huh. It, it's just a little bit different. And and also like there's there's this. Um or when it when it when it, when this ends. Which sounds different from... Oh wait, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. Versus... It's just interesting. It's like a slightly different mastering, slightly different drum set to play in the track. Also, this part of the song... Is much different from the original. This breakdown is still pushing zero dB. Next caller, last caller of the night. You are live on for or God damn it, Friday <laughs> night tag. Hey, it's past uh, or it's almost past midnight, so I'm I'm sort of okay. Anyway, you're live on the show. What's up? Shut yourself out. Where are you calling from? Hey, I'm calling from Reno. Um, I'm from California, though. It's my first time calling in. Awesome, and uh, so, yeah, did you enjoy the show? Anything you want to talk about? Yeah, I really enjoyed the show. It's my first time watching since two months. Hmm, well, uh, I hope you, I hope it was worth it to come back and have a good time. So is there anything you wanted to talk about or mention before we move on and end the show here? And the call just dropped, so. Oh, good. Thank yeah. you again, Microsoft. <laughs> no, they probably lost connection on their phone. Oh. And here we go. What's up? Hey, you're live. Hey, sorry. Lost oh. reception. Oh, it's all good. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, before we end the show here, is there anything you want to talk about or mention? Or? Not really. Just a great show. All right. Well, uh, well, thanks for calling in, Okay. All right. All right. And uh, there was one person that was calling in, but uh, we should probably keep it. Uh, Any longer, we're just going to all be little puddles. Puddles of mush. Yeah. All right. So I lied. You are the last caller <laughs> of the night. How can we help you out this evening? Um. Hey, how are you guys? Um. We're okay. We've had kind of moderate to stressful weeks, and now we're just kind of bleh. <laughs> <laughs> I know the feeling. I've pretty much had the same thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, shut yourself out. Where are you calling from? What do you want to talk about? Um, I'm calling from California, um, Bay Area. Very nice. Oh, nice. I've always liked the Bay Area. It always seemed neat. The one time yeah. I went there in my life, I was very impressed. It is very, very hot. Right now, it is 100 degrees outside, and I've been swimming all day, and I missed half of the show because of it. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, yeah. So, I mean, um, is there anything else you want to, uh, anything you want to mention or talk about before we move on? Um, other than I'm doing something that's illegal, but... <laughs> oh, what's that? Uh, I... You're masturbating. That's definitely illegal. <laughs> oh, my. It's illegal here, but just, just don't tell anyone. <laughs> um... Oh, no. I'm actually getting a ferret for my birthday, which is not too far from now. Oh, you bad person. Wow. <laughs> You're just a horrible contributor to society over here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Man, that's worse than drinking and driving. Having a ferret? My God. <laughs> uh, exactly. That's you should be, you should be ashamed of yourself. Like, Why is this illegal? This is so dumb. <laughs> uh, uh. But yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy your cute pet. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for calling in. You t- uh, <laughs> Sorry. Um, just have a nice day, I guess. Yeah, you too. 
All right, God damn it, Wrath. What do you want? Why are you calling in? I already said there was no more callers. What do you want? I don't know. I'm fucking bored. Okay, well, I said no more callers, and here you are calling in. What the fuck? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, fuck you. I'm a cat. <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? Yes, it was fucking awesome. Good to hear. Did the flag stream work out good? Yes, it did. Although I switched to SD video feed just so I could have everything in sync and properly scaled to my window and everything. Yeah. Because, yeah. And I don't really need flack in my current listening environment. Just... Yeah, oh, I totally understand that. Sometimes it just, yeah. uh, sometimes it's just not worth it. Yeah. Not having video while having the flack stream was kind of like, whatever. Yeah. But yeah. So, well, you're on the video feed, so wave hi to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's uh, a cat. Yeah, definitely a cat there. I'm now watching myself in the video feed. <laughs> yep, I'm a cat. How's it feel? Yeah, how does that feel to be on the... <laughs> uh, it's happened before. Nothing special. <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, well, thanks for calling in, dude. It's... uh. It's always good to have you, and uh, no. I guess I'll, I'll talk to you on TeamSpeak later, I imagine. Probably. All right. Well, thanks for calling in, dude. See ya. on removing the cameras from this show considering it is mostly an audio based show. I think people like seeing But us I think people here. like seeing us just We've got asterisks here saying, where is the video feed? Probably on, I don't know, the giant website for the show <laughs> FridayNightTech.com. The, the point is people want to see us for some reason. <laughs> I guess they don't believe that it's at uh, an the actual video feed page, in bedroom. The video feed page is on this page that has the giant text that says video feed on the website. So it's right there, yeah. Also, that's a big now on air button. Yeah, it also says a giant on air button when you go to the homepage, and, uh, which is about to go away because we're about to switch the website off, but, you know. So, I have been your host for this evening. Oh, God, not the Anthrocon lower third. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> um, Good job. I wanted to just kill that one. I have been your host this evening, Paradox the Wolf. I have been your guest, Code the Arctic Fox. I have been your co-host, Manok the Raccoon. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.